The Zika virus is in the spotlight at Gainesville City Hall tonight. Good evening. I'm Scott Beadle. I'm Anna Manuel. Thanks for joining CBS 4 News. International travel into Florida and, of course, the state's climate make the risk for coming into contact with the virus higher here. CBS 4's Alicia Taren Khan is outside City Hall where officials are discussing how to get additional money to fight the spread of Zika. That's right, Scott. And in, in an effort to combat the spread of the Zika virus, city officials are asking the state for additional funding to control the mosquito population right here in our area. Now, we've already had about four confirmed cases over here in Alachua County, but health experts say that that number can grow. The Department of Health says the Zika virus is a real threat to our area. To date, we've had 38 individuals who have returned from overseas that we know of who we have investigated, and of those 38, four have tested positive for Zika. And the number of cases is only expected to rise. Oh, there's no question that number is going to grow. And what's most concerning is that if 80% of the people are asymptomatic, how many don't we know about? That's why the Alachua County Health Department, along with the city's mosquito control program, has requested over $120,000 in funding to help fight the Zika virus. For equipment, uh, larvicide, as well as adulticide, when we go out and fumigate for the mosquitoes, but also for two full-time personnel, which will help us monitor our light traps, which is collects mosquitoes, and we actually sift through them one by one to identify the species. If we can get stop the mosquitoes, we can make sure that we don't have a, a uh, expansion of, uh, of more Zika cases. In our Back state. in June, Governor Scott said he would spend over $26 million in state money to fight the Zika virus. Today, commissioners approved the city's mosquito control and health department's grant request for some of that state funding. Now officials say they're just waiting on approval from the state. Uh, we apply for the grant to the state and then the state uh, will either award the full portion or a, a sub portion of the full $120,000. Now, again, city officials say there are things you can do to protect yourself against the Zika virus. Of course, getting rid of standing water. If you see a bird bath or a children's pool, go ahead and pour it out because those are breeding grounds for mosquitoes. And one of the simplest things you can do is, of course, spray on some mosquito repellent. Reporting live in downtown Gainesville, Alicia Tarancon, CBS 4 News. And her arm is now protected. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia.